My name is uh, Jay Hall. I'm uh, the uh, park main manager. I'm also the team manager for the Missouri Mudders here in Mexico, Morales, Mexico. Um, the uh, we got here on uh, uh, Monday night. Then we got out here to park for May. The container was here, and uh, we started unloading on Tuesday morning. Uh, we uh, got pretty much everything out on Tuesday with about eight people. Uh, that's all that showed up at that time. And uh, we uh, um, since then we've been working on the pits, getting things set up, get the bikes uh, prepped and and ready to go. It is uh, Friday morning and. Uh, um, bikes have to go, go in impound today at 9.50. I'm Gunny Claypool. I'm the uh, director of the ISDE competition for the USA and the jury delegate for the American team. Um, this morning, the riders will be going through their technical inspections with their motorcycles, getting ready to uh, put them in the impound and, and get this race going in the next couple days. Well, first thing they'll do, the riders will get their bike up there and. There are uh, certain tires that they have to have on them that they'll check. Uh, they'll check engine numbers and so forth. But what they'll do is they'll do a sound test. And once they get the sound test done, they'll go into a, a little stand and put the bike up on the stand. And members from the uh, organization will then go through and mark uh, five specific parts on the motorcycle, the front and rear wheel, the frame, the engine cases, and the muffler. Now, uh, they'll also, when they do this marking, they do it with a paint that's supposed to be a special paint that you can't duplicate and they'll actually scribe the rider's number inside of that dab of paint that they do too. We have 34 riders to go through. Um, right now we have about 29 riders that are ready. Uh, we have uh, four riders that I've got a, a delay of impound time, but this is our time. There's uh, 27 nations here representative and each one of us get a, gets a time slot to go through the technical inspection. They've all checked in, bikes are done, but uh, Cody Schaefer, Timmy Wiegand, and myself are still uh, waiting for our bikes. So, a little sketchy, but now we know it's on the way, it's across the border with uh, paying some money, I guess, but that's the way it works here. They just wanted a ton of paperwork. We kept giving them more paperwork after paperwork, and uh, I think it came down to money, is what it was. And they wanted seven grand to get our bikes across, and. The three of us, we just couldn't come up with that money, and you know, we ended up paying 800 bucks to get it across. And you know, they're they're on their way, so I'm happy about that. We had so many people that helped out, the guys at Kawasaki, and a lot of friends in Arizona, and just I think we had 20 people on this. Luis here, um, so I owe them a huge amount of help for uh, you know, thanks for helping out. So you know, I'm just excited. I was a little nervous on not being able to race and. A lot of money goes into this and not to be able to race was going to be huge. So it looks like it's going to be a good time. The tests look pretty cool, super hard packed. Um, I'm hearing from day three to six it's going to start raining and if it does, it's going to be really slippery and uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens.